Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this movie review. Where today I'm talking about Emma Reynolds' latest movie, Joyride, which stars Olivia Coleman and Charlie Reed. So Charlie Reed, I believe this is their first ever acting role, if I'm not mistaken. And Charlie Reed plays a character called Mully, and Olivia Coleman plays a character called Joy. And if you're wondering, okay, well, what is Joyride all around? Well, it essentially follows our character Joy, who is a little bit of a train wreck situation, going through a lot of stuff, and she's getting really to get rid of her newborn baby but also in the meantime we've also got Mully played by Charlie Reed who is kind of on the run from his dad who's trying to chase him after £4,000 due to him raising this money from his mum recently passing away and the two paths kind of collide and it's all about this kind of family life and this turmoil in life. I've seen the trailer for this movie a couple of times before checking it out tonight it looked okay, it looked like it could be like maybe like a bit of a sweet movie kind of thing. And I'd say at times it definitely is, but ultimately this movie misses the mark. So firstly let me get into some positives. And I've got a highlight here, Olivia Coleman as Joy and Charlie Reed as Mully. Especially for a first time ever appearance from Charlie Reed. Very impressive stuff here. He gives a good performance as this child who feels like he isn't really wanted. He misses his mum as she recently passed from cancer, I believe. And just the turmoil and the emotions and all these kind of conflicting events going on in his life. He's got a lot on his plate and you learn that throughout this movie and the story you can get behind because whenever you lose a loved one, you can feel for that person or character. It happens to all of us in reality, so you can definitely get behind that. And then Joy is a brand new mother who is completely new to motherhood. She doesn't have a clue what's going on, but she's also got other stuff going on in the meantime. So we've got two paths here that are ultimately going to cross in a very strange way, I'll put it that way, but both characters have a lot of stuff going on where they're not perfectly written characters, they have a lot of flaws to them, so you can kind of understand to a degree what they're going through. I'd also say that the set location here is really nicely shot in terms of the cinematography. You see some beautiful just sceneries of a beach or just like a town like a local village, a local town centre, or just the green fields. It's beautifully shot, and especially some shots is actually shot on the road, where one part, uh, both our leads are sat on this kind of back of like this trailer kind of thing. Even that was like really nicely shot. Yeah, so I've got to give big props to the cinematography. And the last positive that I've got is for Ray Harmon, who composes the music score in this film so yeah I have the music I liked definitely some music in here that I felt really fit the tone and the atmosphere that the movie was going for at certain points as the movie progresses and different scenes that are playing out here but unfortunately I've got to go into the negatives where I feel like this is going to divide a lot of people I know that in the screen I went to tonight there was some people who was like really connecting with the movie had some chuckles and really enjoyed it then I was kind of sat there and I was like I'm not really connecting with this movie and I think the main issue for me is the way that the story is written by Alibi Keon, if I've got that correctly. They wrote this movie and the movie feels very schlocky and messy at a lot of points unfortunately. At times we have elements where we're going for comedy and the characters are trying to garner a laugh out of us and you know kind of get a smile on our face then there's times where they're going for really serious and hard-hitting subjects and moments and drama and when they get in that point you can like okay well is this movie trying to be light-hearted here are we trying to tackle some serious tones so i felt like the tones and the pacing was really off here and i felt at times especially towards our third act it felt really rushed and really to the point where it was trying to get to the ending but the narrative wasn't very strong and it should have been because we have two really kind of meant to be emotional stories but i personally found myself checked out and not engaged in their emotional stories unfortunately and i really wish i was because again the lead performances really try to help sell this script but they couldn't do it ultimately and this movie it's just generally it's all over the place but also i'm not really a huge fan of the plot itself and this whole 
situation of how they meet and there's some definitely unrealistic elements in here for example like a 13 year old driving some really nice cars here and i'm like that just wouldn't happen you know so i couldn't really buy into it and ultimately i found myself not checked in to the movie so my overall score for joyride is a 5.5 out of 10. So as I say I think this movie is going to conflict a lot of people but what I'd like to know from you guys is have you seen this movie? Are you going to go check it out? Leave any and all comments down below. In the meantime also give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and until the next time that I see you I'll be seeing you later.